Well, here's the old jet engine out of storage. It's been sitting in my garage for a few years gathering dust, not doing anything. And uh, I'm going to try and fire it up today, make sure it still works. Get it on video. Now that I have a, a workshop out here in an industrial area where I can play around with these things, I can, I can actually fire it up and play around with it a little bit. Maybe I'll uh, start working on it again. I've been wanting to convert it to liquid fuel eventually, so maybe I'll do that if I get the time. I'll show you some of the features here while it's not running, because once I start it up, you won't be able to hear anything with the engine. Um, it runs on propane at the moment. I want to eventually convert it to liquid fuel. Um, here's the regulator for the fuel. It's an old welding regulator. Works pretty well for this. Got lots of instrumentation on it. I've got an oil pressure gauge down here, exhaust pressure gauge, boost pressure gauge, exhaust gas temperature. Um, here's the actual heart of the engine itself. The uh, turbocharger came off of an old uh, Thunderbird. Got out of the junkyard. Um, combustion chamber down here airline over here oil filter and cooler unit here one interesting feature of the engine is I use shop air to start it I've got a little airline there, copper airline that goes in and impinges against the, uh, the compressor wheel in there, not quite, it doesn't touch it but the uh, the air spins up the wheel and that's what, how I get the engine started the uh, oil cooler, like I said, came off a car in a junkyard. I think it was a Mazda rotary engine because it's a very odd looking thing. Many years ago when I picked it up and it was sat in my shop for a long time before I used it. But I was pretty sure it was a Mazda rotary engine I got it off of. Oil pump down here driven by an electric motor. The oil pump was actually the um, power steering pump out of a car. Um, the electronics over there are for uh, generating the spark for igniting the fuel. Spark plug back here in the side of the combustion chamber. Oil reservoir down here. And over here, this is the uh, the exhaust section of the engine. And uh, the temperature probe. And that's my fuel preheater for when I'm using liquid propane, but I'm just going to fire it up on gaseous propane today. Anyway, on the website, there's a big write-up about all of this, so... I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm just going to see if I can get it hooked up and get it running. Uh, see if I can beat the rain because it's coming. So, hang on. Let's see what happens. i got to give the standard disclaimer of don't try this at home because it's very dangerous. You hurt yourself. You kill yourself. You set your place on fire. Lots of things. And at the very least, you need ear protection and eye protection because this is very dangerous. It's very loud. And things can go wrong very quickly with it. So, don't do it.
here on 